Hey, what's up everyone? Just some quick news this evening. First, though, I'm not using my microphone I was using earlier. I'm just using the built-in mic on the phone. But back-to-back -back fireballs bolted through Washington's sky Monday evening. So, actually, that apparently did not happen this evening. I was thinking it happened this evening, but it happened Monday. Two bright fireballs lit up the sky Monday evening, widely visible from D.C. to New York. Out of this world, they stated. This is the heat map showing fireball sightings across the East Coast. This particular path of this fireball went from the green to the red uh, pins, basically showing the location. Two bright fireballs went across the East Coast. The first occurred around about 4.56 p.m., 10 minutes after sunset in Washington. It illuminated the twilight eastern horizon, burning v vibrant shades of green, blue, and white as it exploded in our atmosphere. It lasted about 5 to 7 seconds as it fell, fragmenting into a number of smaller shards like a doomed firework. So... First, if you do not know, we are going through a meteor shower right now, so things like this are to be expected at this moment. Um, it's been so cloudy that we weren't able to see them for the past several days here, but um, today is supposed to. It was slightly clearer, but tonight rain's moving in, and tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so we likely won't be able to see the meteor showers here. There have been several meteor showers within the past several days. They said some people will get the luxury of seeing 60 to 120 meteors per hour. Sometimes when they say that, you don't always get that good of a view, um, and it doesn't always seem to happen, but even when there's a clear sky. So the rest of this goes on to say the fireball looked like an airplane going super fast, but then disappeared about as quickly as I saw it, says this one person here named Samantha Tungle. She's a capital... Weather Gang Facebook follower who witnessed the event in Prince William County. Basically, people were reporting this all over social media and calling 911 and yeah, all kinds of things. Other eyewitnesses described it as a is like a stray firework, green and slow moving, and an incredibly bright blue white streaking ball. Now I did see one one time. I just wished I said, man, I wish one would hit where I could actually get a meteor, and then boom, something hit our vehicle. It's left a dent still right after I wished what I stated. So, you know, the old saying, be careful what you wish for, be careful what you state. Yeah, I have to do that because I, when I state things off the wall, sometimes they wind up happening. And uh, this this rock just kind of went into many pieces, but they claimed they when we had it analyzed at this, I don't know, uh, someone in our family had it analyzed at this, this college or university or whatever. They claimed that they analyzed it and didn't see that it was a meteor or that it was a meteor, that it wasn't a meteor. That's what they claimed. I don't know. I don't even know if I believe it or not. They wouldn't tell you if it was. But something hit our vehicle and left a dent in the left side, left a dent in the vehicle. I'll show you in a video what happened. Whatever hit from the sky hit our vehicle and dented it. And right after I said what I stated. So, yeah. The American Meteor Society received four dozen reports from the spe of the spectacle from Richmond to Province R.I., Rhode Island. The group synthesized each account, drawing upon information about the meteor's apparent motion, color, uh, bearing, and speed. They concluded that the meteor likely entered Earth's atmosphere off the southern southeastern shores of the Delmarva Peninsula, south of the Ocean City, of Ocean City, before either disintegrating and burning up or crashing into the water somewhere around 100 miles to the east northeast. Capital Weather Gang posted on to Twitter, saying several reports of a fireball over DC area around 5 p.m. Who else saw it? Provid Providence, a provide location, they stated, and description. Thanks. Saw a possible fireball over seven corners, bluish white, and moving eastward. At Capital Weather, said Jenna Penrose. So, one lucky observer was stated to actually uh, be in the Bailey's Crossroads area and recorded the meteor as being a minus 10 for apparent magnitude. Astronomers rank how bright an object shines in our sky on a logarithmic scale. The more negative the number, the brighter the object. A minus 10 or a negative 10 would mean that the meteor was nearly as bright as a full moon. Others farther north claimed it was even brighter than that. Then a second fireball was later reported at 42 p.m. Before anyone could catch their breath, yet another fireball took the plunge into our skies. And this has been happening quite a bit, even 
at times when there are no meteor showers to be reported. This time along Maryland's northwestern border with Pennsylvania, this one was seen by fewer people around 6.42 p.m., lasting three to four seconds as it burned even more brilliantly than its predecessor. Than its predecessor. Preliminary data or data suggests that this one did not break up, but rather was small enough to burn up fully. Several reports of fireballs of the D.C. area after 5 p.m. They had others to share, and this person they saw one. Eyewitnesses watched from several areas and watched the northern sky said that the streak was clearly visible even with the street lights. Neither meteor was accompanied by any sound. Noises tend to result only if a meteor explodes. In the case of the first meteor, there was probably was sound reminiscent to of a sonic boom, but it was far too far over the open Atlantic to be heard from land, they stated. It was probably larger as well. Also, we heard booms earlier. I heard uh, We heard a loud boom and a shaking, and then the dogs had a fit. I meant to tell you that in the beginning of this video. We heard a loud boom. My mama heard this boom and a shaking and rumbling, and the dogs everywhere were having a fit. Birds were going over, hollering. Birds were yelling. So I don't know what happened. This is in uh, Tennessee that this just happened. I just heard it. I know we had a few earthquakes in Tennessee few days ago, but I, we just heard several sounds. The dogs had a fit, and then birds started going crazy. So maybe it was an earthquake. I'll look online and let you all know later. So these on the East Coast, radar returns indicated that the meteor's explosion, back to the story again, may have taken place about 35 miles east of the island. At the time, that it, it was impossible to be entirely sure, though, at that time. On December 9th, this person said the Gemini meteor blazed across the sky and people reported seeing a comet as well. So, there's an ASMR video that just popped up. Uh, some A random ASMR video from Tina from uh, Artsy ASMR. That's her channel. She does various videos. That was her latest upload and just popped up. I wasn't intending it to pop up in this video, but anyway. NASA's in Meteoroid Environment uh, Office detected 33 fireballs over the eastern two-thirds of the lower 48 states Monday night. By triangulating their trajectories with their network of all-sky cameras, the organization can calculate a meteor, meteor's track and velocity of the 33 meteors. Six have since been initially classified as geminids, and 25 remain undetermined. In the last few days, other fireballs were reported in Texas, Montana, Washington, California, and Maine. But the video... That is from the Geminid disintegrating over Mexico and pump and the Popocatapetl volcano. The video preferred from above is from Mexico and the Popocatapetl, Popocatapetl volcano. So you can check those out and go to the Strange Sounds Twitter page to find this. So I found this in my Google News feed and had to share it. I'll bring you more news from the Strange Sounds Twitter page. And uh, I'll make a video very soon. Just found this to be interesting. Keep watching the skies if you can see. And if you see anything interesting, let me know. I'd be uh, glad to hear from all of you. I'm interested to hear if any of you have seen the celestial objects or any of the celestial events taking place. Peace and much love. I hope to speak with all of you again very soon. You all mean a lot to me. Bye. Peace.